Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Mischief Makers. Last time, we started our attack on Imperial HQ, we took down Mirko and his Phoenix Gamma. Today marks the day of the end of the Empire. But before we can do that, we need to face our inner struggles. So let's get going. You useless troops! All you have to do is bring the Prof to me! Your Highness, we're finally awake, and we no longer take orders from you! We received Clanter's SOS, and we came to destroy you, but it was all just a trap! Leo, you're underestimating the power of the true justice! Only I get the kill of him! I know you're busy, but I must confront you. Are you ready? Aha! Welcome, Marina. Let's see who brings the true justice. I don't like those who think that they are justice. Alright, so it's time to take on the Emperor himself, or, well, I guess his monolith form. This fight's kind of unique in the way of, you see in the background, you see a bunch of words that are all very negative. What we need to do is we need to grab the word, so we'll take, was this, enemy? Yeah. Give it a good shake, and we transform that word into something positive, so enemy becomes ally, and then we just need to use that to defeat the Emperor. Rage, we take rage and turn it into peace. Give the Emperor a good smack with it, and that's basically the boss fight in a nutshell. Now, the gold, gold gem for this level is kind of random, I would say. Basically, we need to find a certain word in there and shake it to reveal the gold gem. It doesn't become a projectile against him. I think paint, death, no, evil, evil, lots of evil, enemy, enemy, enemy. I think it was despair is the word that we're looking for. Hurt, hurt, sad, hurt, fine. Let's, maybe we need to uh, hit the emperor a little bit. Thankfully, this is not a fight where it's you need to beat him without taking any damage, because I'm already doing bad enough as is. The Emperor's kind of cheap with his shots, I will say. It's random as to where his shots come from, so it's kind of hard to predict where, where it's all where you need to dodge. Sad, happy, rage, death, hurt, hurt, lots of hurts, blood, and suffering. It's okay. We got plenty of red gems. We can do this. Uh, it's always better. Since that was going to be probably the last time we ever got the let's continue thing, don't quote me on that until the end of this project, uh, I probably should have just let it uh, go for a little bit because there's a lot more than just let's continue. Like, you hear Theo just say a bunch of random things like, go Maria, and all that stuff. It's kind of charming in a way of a continue screen. Oh boy! Death, evil, rage, rage! Nope, that's peace. Come on, dire! I think, was it dire? Nope, lucky. Oh, no, that was it. It was dire, not despair. And also, they become a projectile. I just need to throw it in a different area. Alright. Turn enemies into allies. I can't believe that actually hit them. We'll turn death into pain and suffer! Suffering evil will become good. Come on, give me a word over here. Blood! I'll take blood. Blood for the blood gods! Yeah. I always need to judge the trajectory. The trajectory, but I can't say big words very good. Okay, now I'm just getting comboed. I can't say big words good. Uh, blah! Big word's very good. I is talk very good. I has edumacation. I also have some, some joy. Enjoy the joy! Give him some glee. Get some more blood for the blood gods. And that's it.
I've lost. That's why I don't like justice. I love Theo so much. I thought our goal was the same. I was wrong. My dream was to be destroyed by my brother. Why did you have to defeat me, Marina? Ah! If I'm going to go, I'm taking all of you with me. Marina, I'm dying. Evil has been defeated. Our adventure is over. I think of you as a dot. <coughs> I'm tired. I'm going to go to sleep. Goodbye. Oh, ah, no, it was all a lie. Forgive me, Marina, forgive me. I was pretending to cry, too. I knew that you were acting, and poorly at that. Uh, <coughs> I'm tired and cold. Everything's getting dark. Yes, the vacuum of space is a very dark place. And he was never heard from again. That's what you get for be or for making best girl cry. C rank. If I didn't get caught up with so many combos with those shots, I probably would have gotten at least a B rank. But whatever, we got the gold gem. That's all that really matters. But yes, even taking down the emperor was not the true final boss of the game. We still have three adversaries that we need to show the true meaning of justice to. And to be honest, it's my favorite boss in this entire game. So let's just go. I'm just going to let this play out because it, it, it's ridiculous in its own right, but it's still very enjoyable. It's very quirky, and that's what this game shines itself on. Finally, Marina Light Years. It's showtime. Put them up. It's time to fight. Justice? Who cares about justice? I'm happy to be able to fight you. If by chance I lose, uh, I'll, I'll forgive you for being one of my fans. Oh, please. Don't listen to him, Marina. I'm the greatest warrior of all. I know you want to join my fan club, so stop wasting your time with him. Both of you knock it off. You're acting like kids. Why are you... Where's your pride as warriors? Besides, Marina, I know that you want a good-looking guy like me. Stop looking at me like that. You'll only end up being unhappy. So, yes... The final boss of this game is basically the B Sector wanting her to join their fan club. The body's built, we got the shoulder plates, arms and legs are coming together, and all form the head. So this is the true final boss of the game. This is the boss that you do have to beat without taking any damage. There always has to be that last one. This is the only chapter in the game where there's two bosses that you have to get the gold gem through this rule. Their final, fo their final mech form, eh, it's a pretty enjoyable boss fight. Very fast paced. You basically got to catch his dive kicks. He'll and I completely whipped on that because I was too busy explaining. You gotta catch his dive kicks, you gotta catch his stomps. He will shoot his gun arm at you, which I believe you can catch and throw back at him. He'll also shoot his other arm as a rocket, which you have to aim and actually hit him. If you do, you get a funny little thing. If not, you get Marina getting very upset at her own failures. Grab it, give him a shake, slam him into the ground, and... I messed up the time on that one. One, two, three, and throw. Nope. One, two, throw him in the air, and there we go. That's what we wanted. I think we can get it with three. I just threw him in the wrong direction. Yep, there we go. 
three slams and then a throw up and that's it. Oh no, I suck. No, you suck because I got your arm. Got it and nailed it. They're kind of hard to get the timing on. Sometimes they'll jump away at the last second and you and you miss the shot. Oops. Honestly, they're not that hard of a boss fight to get in. I just completely whiffed it on th this first try because of the explaining. And when the LP uh, curse hits you and you're too busy focusing on doing two things at once. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Uh, basically, you just, you know, need to, you use less focus on it. Alright, he's gonna do his V-Laser. There we go, that's what we needed to do, just run across the screen. I thought we needed to jump over it, but nope, that wasn't the case. Grab his arm one more time. Going this way. I'll let him do one more, there we go, and right into the armpit. He's doing his V-Laser again. He really likes doing that about halfway through the fight. I do love that saying, though, through fire, justice, to serve. It's like one of my go-to catchphrases of this game. Also, you suck. He says I suck, but I've been kicking his ass all this entire fight. Nope, we whiffed it. And even then, he calls her lame because she has no aim whatsoever. You call me lame? Can a lame person do this? I'm the heroine of this adventure, and you are broken. Making his way back from the deepest wretches of space, Theo still hasn't learned his lesson yet. So, we're gonna send him back on his way. The battle is over. Justice has triumphed by erasing the existence of the evil forces. Till the evil forces rise again, put aside your special powers and return to your normal life. Now, your final mission. You must return to Clancer, where everyone is awaiting you. Four minutes, C-Rank. Uh, I could have done that better, but whatever. We didn't get the gold gem, which means that we're going to need to come back here. And yeah, here's the ending. We're not going to do that just yet. I'm going to be going back and grabbing all the gold gems plus one thing. Even though that we've missed a gem in 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 6, and 5, 8, there is actually a gold gem in 5, 9. Yeah, they actually hide a gold gem in the ending. To get the gold gem, you need to have an overall ranking of A. And basically, that means I'm going to need to go back and play through a couple of the levels to, you know, get the better scores to get the better ranking. So, I'm going to go through the uh, process of snagging all the gems like we do every time we end the chapter of the game. And then I will see you back with a better ranking. So, we will see you all in just a little bit. Snagging the gold gem in counterattack is really easy, so long as you're either lucky or you have some health you can sacrifice. Get the Clancer Commander's beam attack and then let go of it immediately to get the gem before it flies off the screen. And that's pretty much it. You just need to make sure that you snag it before it hits the ground, otherwise it's going to go flying off the screen and you're going to have to replay the level. As a side note, since I never mentioned it in the video, Holden A will let the ostrich fly indefinitely, but it's only useful for avoiding the beam attack. Which, honestly, why would you even do that? You can just grab it and deal some extra damage to the boss itself. B is the one is up next. All I can say is be very careful when you shake the missiles and watch out for the jetpack glancers. The missile that has the gem in it is randomized every single time, so treat every single one of them like it has the gem in it. Phoenix Gamma is not the hardest boss to get the gem from, it's no Cerberus Alpha, but it isn't that easy either like Sasquatch Beta. You have two big challenges in this fight. Getting Mirko's shield and lance from him in phase 1 and avoiding his wave shot in phase 2. Try to bait him into his multi-stab attack and then go in for the lance, as it should give you ample time to grab it. 
Phase 2 is a little more tricky with the packing from Phoenix Gamma, the, the many bullet hell shots he does, and Murko's counterattack after you hit him once. Just keep your distance and none of Phoenix's shots will hit you. As for Murko, grab the head and start pulling it at an angle to avoid his shots. It's not a 100% guarantee, but it's the best strategy I could come up with. Now it's time for the final battle, which to be honest is easier than Phoenix Gamma. Just grab their stomps and dive kicks and give them three good slams then throw them up into the air to easily beat them. Do your best to stay to the right of them so that they can't use their arm cannon against you, and three to four hits from the rocket arm will bring them down just like that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, all 52 gold gems in the game have been acquired. And as you can see, there's the overall ranking for an A. We only need 1 hour, 5 minutes, and 42 seconds, and 60 milliseconds, but who counts that stuff? I gotta admit, it's kind of sad seeing that this game has come to an end finally. It's been such an enjoyable journey for me going back and replaying this gem. Still one of my all-time favorite games for the 64, and it still depresses me that this was such an underrated series. Nowadays it's getting more love, and rightfully so, but still, I'm gonna really miss this. But now, it is time to bid farewell to everyone, let's go to the ending, and head off to our next adventure. Wow, Marina! Hey, it's you, Marina! Welcome back! We were all worried about you. I'm here too, by the way. Legendary hero Blockman, Terran. I'm deeply grateful to you for protecting Ondine. I mean, Celise. I really appreciate it. Oh! Your Highness, thank you for your words. Ondine, you've grown up so much. F father Father? Father! Where have you been? Forgive me but you no longer need to worry. Really? We won't be separated again? That's right. That's great. From now on, we can be together forever. Right, brother? Yeah, that's right, Celise. Well, let's have a coronation ceremony. Ondine, as of today, you will unite the kingdom. Woo! Party! Party in Neptune! Every single Clancer, even the background 2D Clancers from the Winter Games are here. I think this is the only time you ever see the Purple Warrior Clancers in this game as well. Oh yeah, sorry about destroying half the shrine by the way. I'm surprised you haven't gotten that fixed yet. Oh my god, they disappeared! The clans are technology is improving too fast. Wait, brother! Brother Terran! No, I'm I'm not your true brother. 
I'm Blockman, he who lives to face danger. I was hired by King Aster to, as your bodyguard to protect you. I'm from a different world. M Marina? Please, let me through. Otherwise, I'll have to fight you. Not this time. Let me go, Marina. Up until today, I've been lying to Celise. How can I stand before her? Forget about the past. You can't blame yourself for what happened. Just be yourself. You'll be beside the person you most need, won't you? I'm sure Celise is also looking forward to this. And just tosses him right back at her. I love Marina. She's an amazing character. Celise. I order you in name of the Queen. Whatever happens, I want you to, beside me to protect me. As the Blockman, as my brother, as Terran. Are you okay with this, Sari? Thanks for asking, Marina. I feel much better now. He should be beside her. It's for the best, right? <laughs> well, I need to return home. Everyone is waiting for me. So, I better get going. Give my best to Terran. See ya. And, for stopping Terran, she gives us the final gold gem. I love the design of their house ship, by the way. It's such a quirky design. Something out of Dragon Ball. Like, she, they have, like, her little hat antennas on the side of their house ship. They got, like, Theo's glasses and mustache as, like, the windows and a door roof. And also the planet itself was a clancer. It's the kind of quirkiness that I miss in games nowadays. But now it's time to head off to our next adventure. Where will that take us? I don't know, because we never got another game after this, which, again, still depresses me. Please, for the love of God, Square, Treasure, whoever has the license for this game now, please give us a new Mischief Makers, or remake this one. I don't care. But, yeah, that was Mischief Makers. It was such an amazing experience. I just... This game always has such an amazing quirk. It has such great comedy, and... There hasn't been a game like this on the N64 or anything else since then. Marina is such a likable character. She has no nonsense. Everyone who always states like strong female heroines in games, they always look past her in this, and which really depresses me because she's one of the better examples. I'm still... I'm really happy I managed to get through this. Just going back through this, reliving my childhood and the impact this game had on me because it was one of the very first games I ever was allowed to get by myself. It's something I picked out for me. And it's something that, well, something I experienced with my father because he was the one there with me when I got this. It's a memory I'll always hold dear and close to me and nothing will ever take that away. Albeit, some of the things were kind of annoying. <coughs> Cerberus Alpha. And <coughs> Gold uh, Gem in the Winter Games. But, other than that, I'm really happy I did this. Now for the surprise ending. Hey, it's me, Geold. I'm still alive. It's me! Lunar, I'll return you to your human form. Really? I forgot I was human. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. Slam! And with that, Lunar became a real boy. And honestly, kind of looks like an F-Zero pilot, to be honest. Taurus, are you ready? Of course. I want to be a man again. 
Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus. Slam! Why is my body so big and my head so small? Now I can return to being an original beast sector. Kinda looks like a school teacher, to be honest. Okay, Mirko, I'll return you to human next. Mm, if I'm human, I'm scared that my fan club will get even bigger. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus. Slam! And Mirko became a generic anime pretty boy. This is my true body? It's so beautiful. Oh my. At last, they all became human and once again can be the one and only the original Beast Sector. Wherever villains appear, they will be there until peace covers the planet. Fight, mighty Beast Sector. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I must go now, my planet needs me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hey, how'd I get all the way out here all of a sudden? Do you also wish to be human, Marina? What? Really? Are you sure? Slam! And with that, Marina became a real panda. What? Yep, this is the joke ending. If you did not get that final gold gem, then Marina doesn't actually become a human. Oh no! Oops, sorry. Let's try this again. I'll get it right this time. Slam! And with that, Marina becomes a real girl. Finally! <laughs> Marina is at last a human. I'm getting... Okay, you are officially put on a watch list, Theo. Marina, can you please do me the favor and just throw him back in the deep wretches of space again? Now, here's actually where something comes into effect. Had we chosen age 15 or below back at the very beginning of the game, Marina actually would have a different appearance. Instead of being a young adult, late teen, she actually would have the body of a, a little girl. Which kind of makes the ending and especially Theo's interactions with her that much more creepy. But uh, that's where our adventure comes to an end. Going back through all this stuff, I'm really going to miss it. And I will never get tired of saying that. Maybe we'll return back to this game at some point. Maybe either through a stream or, I don't know, maybe a one-off series just to revisit this in the future. Maybe I'll even be insane enough to try and go for an S rank in one of these levels, or even try a speedrun myself. Who knows, because this is a really speedrun heavy game. But until then, I'll see you all in the next LP. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'm out. Take care, everybody.